side, how much is too much debate prep? The Clinton team seems not to be worried about that question. Secretary Clinton's late night studying sessions and prep today also did not stop her from weighing in on the developing situation in Charlotte, North Carolina. Fox News correspondent Jennifer Griffin has that story tonight. After facing criticism for not releasing the tape of Charlotte police killing Keith Lamont Scott, the department released the video yesterday after the wife of Mr. Scott shared the video she shot on her telephone camera. It is difficult to conclude from either video whether or not Mr. Scott, who suffered from a traumatic brain injury, held a gun. Hillary Clinton had tweeted the Charlotte police should release the video without delay. Clinton took some time out from debate prep Sunday, like her opponent, to meet with the Israeli Prime Minister. Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Democratic candidate spent until nearly midnight Saturday in mock prep sessions. Her running mate described their expectations. I'm hoping there isn't a different standard in the debate, John. I think uh, there's been some worry that maybe up to now there's been different standards applied. Hillary has been very specific about policy plans. We have a book out describing them. Donald Trump less so. Her campaign manager, Robbie Mook, had trouble again today with specific policy plans after taking heat on MSNBC recently for not answering questions about Clinton's Syria policy. The campaign pushed back, saying a campaign manager is not supposed to talk policy as much as electoral maps. Mook found himself stumped today when asked about Clinton's position on sanctuary cities. Secretary Clinton has released a comprehensive plan uh, for immigration reform. This is something she has pledged to do uh, in the first 100 days. Uh, we cannot have a situation where anybody is coming to this country illegally and committing crimes. I'm not clear, though. Are, does she want to end sanctuary cities or not? Well, I, I, think that's, I think that's too narrow a view of this situation. Meantime, the Trump campaign is trying to paint her national security advisors as being part of the status quo. They represent mm -hmm. so many of the failed policies and, the, and, the, and really the, the stupid decisions that were made that have kept us in this perpetual conflict that, that we are in in the Middle East and places like Afghanistan. Critics say that Clinton may be overpreparing and could lose if she comes across as too wonky. The campaign says they hope she isn't graded on a curve. Brett?